Me on House Administration will come to order. Welcome everyone to the first hearing of our Looking Ahead series, the architect of the Capitol's strategic plan for the 118th Congress. I note that a quorum is present. Without objection, the chair may, de may, may declare a recess at any time. The committee is meeting today to hear testimony from the Honorable Brett Blanton, architect of the Capitol. I now recognize myself for the purposes of making an opening statement. Thank you to our witness, Mr. Blanton, for coming to testify before our committee today. The architect of the Capitol, or the AOC, is one of the largest legislative branch entities with over 2,400 employees and an annual operating budget of over $1 billion. Every day, employees from the AOC provide maintenance and work to preserve the United States Capitol campus, which is recognized around the world as a symbol for the American government and the freedoms that we enjoy. I want to say thank you to all the employees of the AOC for the work they do behind the scenes to keep the campus both functional and beautiful. We're also wrapping up a congressional transition where, where, where the AOC, along with support offices, coordinated the moves of nearly 300, 300 member, committee, and leadership offices. This is no small feat, and I want to thank everyone who assisted in that transition. The AOC has also played an important role in the full reopening of campus after nearly three years of closures under the previous majority, and I'm excited that the Capitol's Visitor Center will start welcoming, welcoming visitors for Saturday tours again beginning March 4th. Changes to the House campus are occurring. Following the move of the Department of Health and Human Services, we have new opportunities in O'Neill. Last Congress, I did a walkthrough of the third phase of the Canyon Renewal Project, which is now in its final phase. That construction project is the most expensive the AOC has ever managed, with cost overruns of over 23%. I look forward to learning how to best protect taxpayers in this regard moving forward. Additionally, the AOC plays a central role in campus security, with you serving as one of the three voting members of the United States Capitol Police Board. In fact, just last week, the board voted to put up a fence for the State of the Union, which cost nearly $1 million. I have questions about this decision. Your organization serves both chambers and interacts with members, committees, and their staff more than almost any other legislative branch entities. With the AOC playing such a role, with the AOC playing such a role here on, on the Capitol campus, I'm disappointed that over the last few Congresses, there's hardly been any hearings focused on your organization's leadership and long-term planning. I acknowledge this was an era of previous Congresses. In fact, you were appointed three years ago, and this is the first time you've been invited to testi testify specifically to the strategic plan of the organization. And this is the first time in six years that the committee has held a hearing on this specific topic. I believe there's been a lack of oversight of your organization over the last several Congresses, which at times has resulted in lapses of accountability. As chairman, I can assure you that accountability starts today. This committee will bring more transparency and accountability into how Congress, including the AOC functions. Where we can, we want to do so in a nonpartisan way. Our goal for today's hearing is to get an update from you on numerous projects and initiatives under your organization's purview some of which I briefly mentioned, and to learn more about the strategic plan for the organization. I'm also going to address the elephant in the room. We need to discuss your personal role as head of the AOC and allegations that have been brought to light by the AOC Inspector General. I've read the, I've read the Inspector General report, and the allegations are highly concerning. I want to give you the opportunity to address the IG report head on, and I expect you to be truthful and transparent. But this hearing today will be about more than just the IG report. It will also include discussions about how accountability needs to be reestablished throughout multiple functions of your organization. After three years of being architect, it is clear that there's still a lot of work ahead to get the AOC to the standard of performance and service that Congress expects from a $1 billion a year investment. I fully acknowledge that part of that requires an engaged Congress that works to get the AOC the, the resources and structure it needs to perform. From where I'm sitting, it seems to be that after three years under your leadership, the organization still faces significant challenges, and the allegations the IG report need to be addressed before the AOC organization can move on. Clearly, we have a lot to talk about today, and I look forward from hearing from you. I now